Ooh. Back again at my messy desk. You didn't see that. Um, working on my Zune, my trusty Zune. I've had this for six or seven years now. I would have gotten it in like 2008, I think. No, 2007. Yeah, so almost seven years. And this thing still works amazing. Um, it has survived many cold winters sitting in my car overnight. <laughs> Never got stolen. Always popped right back on. I actually even took it on vacation with me and left it in my friend's car um, and didn't realize where it was until months later and pulled it out of the little tray thing in the uh, behind the driver's seat because I was sitting in the back and it turned back on and it had like a quarter battery left <laughs> so it's just like sitting there the whole time it still had battery left anyway I'm doing an upgrade today here is my old battery this er, battery stupid me hard drive this is the 30 gig drive that normally comes in your Zune or your original Zune and here is the back of the Zune <laughs> You will notice mine has this sticker on the top because it was refurbished. Yeah. So that's another test of time that the Zune was a good product. I don't know about the later ones, the, the remakes, you know, or the mini Zunes or anything like that. I got tape sitting around here, sorry. Anyway, this is currently open, and now I've got the new 120 gigabyte drive in um, just for reference it is oh my god wrong direction it's, a, it's another Toshiba it's an MK 1214GAH it's a 120 gig drive uh, One. what is this a 1.8 inch in width as opposed to a 2.5, which is what goes in your hard or your laptop, and then a 3.5 is what your PC has. This is a 1.8 inch drive. I think um, some netbooks will take a drive like this, the ones that have hard drives instead of SSDs. Anyway, the problem now is this shield used to hold this drive like that, and then that went on there, and it's got two screw holes in the shield that hold it down and then some tape sort of I, maybe I think that's what that was I don't know anyway so I cannot put the shield on I can't put well I can't put the shield on but I can't put the shield on and put the back on uh, without the back it's just like a few millimeters too thick and the casing splits it won't stay together right there in the middle so I have to take the shield out. Keep, leave the shield out, I guess I should say. And right now, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do about this drive. This is just going to flop around in there. So I'm going to construct something out of electrical tape and maybe rubber bands? I'm not really sure. <laughs> something to kind of shockproof the drive, just give it a little bit of bounce around it and protect it. Obviously, I can't add any more thickness in the thickness dimension, but I need to have something around the edges so that it doesn't just bounce around and, at the very least, rip the uh, ribbon cable under there. I do not want to rip that. So, we'll see what I do. Okay, I'm doing a little test fit here. Uh, just scotch taped on for now. A rubber band around the old hard drive, and it's a lot less sloppy than it was, but I think I'm going to add another. However, it might be hard to get two rubber bands on one drive, because it was a pain in the butt to get this one to stick all the way around. Uh, yeah, I think that might actually work. Good old rubber bands. I'm going to throw another one on there and see if I can get it closed and then try and boot it up. On a little side note, just for the record, these old Zunes, they use a hard drive with a ZIF socket, uh, as opposed to there are some 1.8 inch drives that did not use a ZIF socket, and they used a little mini micro plug thing.
kind of like what you would expect a IDE IDE based drive to use, but these definitely use the little zero in zero insertion force zip socket with a ribbon cable thing. So just so you know. Bam. Dirty computer too. Okay. It's back together. However, it's not together together because apparently this drive actually is too thick. God, I hate having to show my band-aid here. And it just will not quite close all the way. Let's see, you can get one side closed and it'll stay. But then the other side pops the other side open. So you can't have both sides closed at the same time. And I think what I'm going to have to do is on the top of that drive that's in there, you know, it kind of sticks up. I might have to, like, even dremel away on the inside just a tiny bit uh, around that rib of the drive. And, like, I don't know when I'll do that eventually. Or something like that. Um, yes, these are little pieces of micro pour tape I was doing stuff earlier making little scraps anyway but here we are with the new drive in it Ugh. and it tells me to go to the PC and here we are on the PC and it just thinks I need to update it but of course that's just because there's no software on that hard drive whatsoever, so it needs to completely format it and put the Zune software on it. So, we will let that finish, and then hopefully everything will be perfect. And I'll show you the Zune screen on the device showing the massive hard drive in it. So, three, two, one... Okay. Well, now I have to name it. Uh, 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 Sync options. Sure. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. It's got some uh, sweat on it. Unplug it. Once again, that still isn't together all the way. And if we go down here, hopefully, settings. Uh, about. Storage. Bam, sucker. Check that out. 111 gigabytes. On a 30 gigabyte zoom. Oh, just shut off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Zoom action.